I'm Amanda Olson from IntimateRose.com and I'm a doctor of physical therapy and certified rehabilitation specialist. And we're going to discuss uh, some beginning to more intermediate core stability exercises that can be done after lapar laparoscopic surgery to the pelvis or abdomen. So these are exercises to do after you've had your first post-operative appointment with your physician and they have cleared you to start moving around again and start exercising again. One thing it's important to keep in mind is that even though laparoscopic surgery is fairly minimally invasive, that all of those portal scars in your abdomen do form a tunnel and that is disruptive to the strength and coordination of your abdominals. Also, the distension that occurs during laparoscopic surgery and the swelling can also be disruptive to the coordination and timing of the muscles. So even though you're feeling better and you're on the mend and things are going right, it's still really important to retrain the timing and control of the pelvic and abdominal muscles so that you can get back to what you were doing before and even move on and be more, more um, progressive with your exercises. So for these exercises, after you've been cleared by your physician and they said it's safe to start exercising again, you wanna focus on coordinating the pelvic floor with the abdominals and then adding a little bit of movement. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll start by warming up the pelvic floor and the abdomen with the breath pattern, and then we'll make a progressive um, exercise movements so that we focus on retraining those muscles. So you'll start laying down on your back and We'll lay down with the knees bent and the feet planted, and we'll inhale, and then on the exhale, we're gonna contract the pelvic floor muscles as if we were shutting off the flow of urine and gently compress the abdominals. So we're not drawing the belly button in fast or hard. We're more thinking about a saran wrap, wrapping around the abdominal muscles. So we'll inhale, exhale, and with the exhale, doing the Kegel and gently tightening the abdomen for a count of five and then inhale, relax, exhale, inhale again, exhale, contract. So coordinating the pelvic floor muscles with the abdominals, five second hold, do that 10 times. Then we're gonna add a little bit of movement with it. So the, the basic gist is we're gonna keep building on that Kegel with abdominal control. So on the exhale, we'll, we will do the Kegel, we'll engage the abdominal muscles, and then we're gonna lift one leg up to 90 degrees and then set it down with control, starting with the ball of the foot and rolling down through the foot. And then we'll inhale, rest, exhale, do the Kegel, contract the abdominals, keep that engaged, lift the opposite leg, and then set it back down with control. The objective here is to keep the pelvis and the abdominals very still, almost as if you had a teacup on your pelvis and you don't wanna spill your teacup. So we'll inhale, exhale, contract pelvic floor and abdominals, lift the leg, lower it with control. Inhale, relax, exhale, contract, lift the opposite leg, set it down. Inhale, relax, exhale, grab the Kegel, engage and lift, set it back down. Aiming for 10 on each side. Next, we'll roll onto our side and have the knees bent and support your head with your bottom arm. We're gonna do that same Kegel with the breath and we're gonna add a little clamshell on top of it. So the objective here is that we're starting to engage the hip muscles that are helpful in maintaining core and spinal stability. So we'll inhale, relax, exhale, do the Kegel, engage the abdominals, lift the top knee, and set it back down. And again, inhale, relax, exhale, contract, lift the top knee, set it back down. You'll wanna do 10 on each side. The final one, is a modified plank and depending on where you are in your post-operative uh, process you may um, feel more up to this earlier on and this one may take a little bit of time because we are going to support the body weight through the feet and the arms so you're going to come into hands and knees position and curl the toes under you're going to put the wrists right under the shoulders and the knee right underneath the hip we'll inhale relax exhale do the kegel we're just going to lift the knees hover and then set them back down. So we're not going into a full plank quite yet. 
we're just doing a modified little mini pick it up, hover, set it back down. You'll do 10 on each side. For more information and other videos about post laparoscopic surgery exercises and other ways to help improve your pelvic floor, visit intimaterose.com.